stop. I thought you were going to fly to heaven. Madam, what thing happened now? Wait, the hell for me like she has to Sure, you say make her stop, I stop now. She needs to When I was begging you to, 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 to slow down, did you, did you listen to me? Why didn't you slow down? Eh? You were running as if you were going to fly to heaven. Madam, I Maybe they have sent you to go and kill me. I, I hear you. If you make me more angry now, eh? I will not give you this money. Because uh, of the stress you have given me. Uh, give me my money. Uh, you come to the channel. Give me my money. Give, give me my money. Uh, uh, give, give, give me my money. Uh, this is uh, why I can't look for this Lagos. You can't be a witch. You can't be a witch. Down, a, down a small one, sir. Your mother is a witch. Uh, no problem. Your grandmother is a witch. I wish you this, sir. Your wife is a witch. Back to send. Your sisters are witches. No problem. Sir. Your daughters are witches. And they carry about the All your children are witches. Your sisters are witches. Okay, don't worry. Foolish man. Only 200 men they had it. They have sent you to go and, go and kill you. I agree. I did go. You know, you know no Lagos. I don't go. I... You will not succeed. I'm more here, Mulan. Take your money. Yeah, now nah, nah, you Come start on. business. Okay. Come on, give me my bag. Ah, they come. Please, please. Give me my bag! Don't worry, Jeff. Foolish man. They agree. Give me my bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Ah. Oh, you. Just do some SMS. I just want to drop my phone. They said you should tell them that you did see me. I don't see you, good job. Bye bye. Now. My son not yet back from work. No, it's not yet time for his return. Is everything all right? Yes. 
Why did you ask? No, it's just that I... I think, uh, anyway. Mama, come to the dining room so I can serve your food. Hey!
You are back. Yes. How come, my son? But, Mama, why, why are you lying down here? When did you arrive? My son, I came here since morning. Shh. And since that time, I've been lying down here. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. Why? Is my wife not at home? Ask her. I can't believe this. Doris! 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 Back. Why didn't you take Mama to the guest room? And why did you have to starve her all day? What, me? Eh? Yeah. Is that not so? Did you care about me? Did you? Did you ask me anything? Did you do anything for me? Honey, it's not true. It's not true. I gave Mama food in the morning when she came and she refused. I offered to take her to the guest room and settle her there. She, she refused and said I should leave her alone. She later called me in the afternoon and said she was hungry. I should get something for her to eat. I got it and she ate it. Is it not only that once? Is it not me that asked you to give me food? Did you care? I had to beg for food in my son's house. Oh, wait, well, you're not the one that asked you to give me food. I had wait, to beg for food in my son's house. Wait. Stop pretending. Your breakfast is ready. I made fried yam and stew for you with some eggs. I hope you like it. Is that why you woke me up this morning? Don't you ever think about anything else apart from fried stew, fried latte. I fried the uh, chicken. I fried the turkey. Okay. I have fried the stew. Fry, 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 fry. Did your mother tell you teach you how to make babies? Huh? Please, it's too early for all these insults, please. If I insult you, what will you do? What will you do? Mama, when you're ready to eat, your food is already served on your dining. Hey! Come back here! Come back here! Come back here! How dare you walk out of me? Look, Mama, Mama what, what is the matter? What's going on here? Don't ask me. Don't ask me! Your wife came this morning! So rudely and arrogantly tell me that if you want to eat, your food is at the table now. Ah, Mama, shut your mouth up. But sure, what you want to do? That was exactly what I complained yesterday. You, you didn't say anything. Enough, Mama. Enough of all these lies. Eh? Hey! You get to... Me, your mother lying. Mama, I heard everything you told her. And I heard what she said to you. Hey! I was standing right here. She has totally confused you. She has confused you that you no longer think about anything else apart from her. But you have forgotten that men of your age who have been married for the past four years have children all over the place. Male, female, boys and girls, here and there, plenty to show that they are potent. Enough, Mama! Enough! Look, if all you have come to do in this house this weekend is to cause trouble and problems and confusion as usual, then you have to leave. Eh? You get to go. You are asking me to go? Yes. Stop it, I said if you have come to cause problem in this house, then you have to go. Go to the house I provided for you and the next Stop and it. Stay there. Stop it. You get to go. Don't worry. I will go. Oh? Mama, Mama, I will go. Can't leave like this. Listen, Doris. Just keep her out of this. What do you think you're doing? She would, she would think I, I, I... And I said stay.
Okay. What is wrong? Why are you looking like this? Don't ask me, Biko. Don't ask me. Your brother and his wife asked me to go. What? They didn't even give me one second to change my clothes. I am going like this. They say I should leave the house. I am going. But I have asked you to leave. He asked me to leave. Nothing on earth will make me come back to this house. Mama, wait now. Mama, wait. Okay. Oh, Brother, why did you drive my out of your house this morning? Are you out of your mind? What's the matter with you? You think you can just bust into this house and start heckling me without even saying hello? Well, I'm sorry. It's just that I didn't like the way I saw Mama outside, especially in her nightwear. I mean, it wasn't just good enough. What isn't good enough? What's not good enough? You think you can just come in here and start judging without listening to the other side of the story? You and I know who Mama is. I just can't keep tolerating her coming into this house to create confusion between my wife and I. Every now and then. In the name of not having a child. I simply asked her to leave. If she wouldn't let us be. And she chose to leave. It was a decision. I'm sorry. It's just that you should be used to Mama's character by now. Look, we have to do something about Mama's attitude. It's getting out of hand. What can we do, huh? What can we do? Ah, ah great! Hey! Ah, good to see you! And you too, you look so good. Thank you very much. Alright, love. Bye, brother. Ah, look at you. What happened? Mama, what is this? What is this? Because I don't like it. Why on earth did you go to Brother Ike's house to trouble him and his wife because they are yet to, to have a child? Why did you do that? Why did you keep traveling there? Ah. I haven't started. Oh, so he's spending you people. I have not started. You haven't seen anything yet. Not until they give me a child. Grandchild one. <laughs> Mama, are they God that gives children? No, tell me! Are they God that gives children? Mama, when will you understand they are not God that gives understand children? Understand what? Understand what? That ticket was married for the past four years and his wife has not been able to give him one child. Huh? Huh? What am I even saying? What about you? Have you been able to give your own husband a child? Have you? Tell me. Mama, even me. Yes? You have been married for the five, past five years. Have you been able to give your husband one child? Look at you. You and your brother, you have been married and nothing to show for your marriage. Nothing! And you say, I shouldn't be bothered. I am bothered! What kind of children did I bring into this world? Children, what kind of children? Look, at your age, you and your brother, I already have two children. Yet you are the to You don't have anything to show for your marriages. Nothing! Not even one. Show. Not even one. And you are not even bothered. Am I even talking about uh, Nega? She's not even bothered. Yet she has not been able to get married. And it doesn't bother her. And you think I am not worried? If you are not bothered, I am worried. I am a woman, a mother for that matter. I know how I feel. I am worried. That is why I'm shouting to the world to hear my voice. Ha! Ah. God. Mama, thank you very much. I don't believe you. Go if you want to go. Go and leave me alone. You people should leave me. I want to have my rest. Let me rest! You people are cursed! I am not cursed. 
cost. And I am sure I did not cost any of you. I did not. How? Surround sound, blowing through your tubes, leaving holes through your speakers, cracking through your tweeters. My frequencies off the meter, jam pack arenas from here to Bangkok. I'm ahead of my time, like Jim Hendrix playing Woodstock. Here yeah, I'm playing Hoodstock before I had the dreadlocks. I used to reminisce, should I do music or sell rocks? Grow my own crops, living in the PJs. That's when the angel Gabriel said, It's all a masquerade. Eyes with no face, sneakers with no lace. I feel the earth spinning, but I'm standing in the same space with no trace of what happened last night. I seen two fiends fighting over a crack pipe. Now I'm watching TV, my antenna was a closed hand. and children who don't care about me. allow me to greet you properly. Mama, are you okay? Where are you coming from at this time of the night? Where are you coming from? Oh, Mama, where else? I went to see Chinedu. Chinedu? You went to see Chinedu? That same Chinedu that you go to see and come back every night. Mecca, are you sure he will marry you? Mama, eh? Mama, how many times do you want us to talk about this? At least we've been here to see you together. 
and you know that he has proposed to me. Mm. Mama, I love him and he loves me too. Mm -hmm. I will get married. Mm -hmm. I love, he love, love me, love you. Look, what I'm telling you is that if you know that this boy will not marry you, better leave him now and look for somebody else who will marry you. You are not getting younger. You are almost 26 years old. Mama, please give me a break. Give me a break for goodness sake. Why do you keep nagging and troubling everybody always? If Chinedu does not marry me, Mama, would you marry me? Would you marry me? Please just let me be. I will not. Oh. I won't. Then in that case, why I said, shut up! Shut your mouth up! Look, at your age, I was already married with a son. How can I let you rest? They, 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 why don't you go and look for the emergency ones where you think you, you, you have? Bring one husband and force me to marry him now. Bring one husband for me. Okay. If you want the emergency husband, Neka, I will give you emergency husband. Very soon, I will bring the emergency husband. Because it's love, 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 love. I love him, you love me. Yeah, I love you. Is that what I'm, I'm going to eat? If I took this out, I'm troublesome. I must complain, no? Things are going upside down. Things are not going to let you a Neka. I don't know. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm alright. And your mother? Oh, she's fine. Um, so, where's my sister? Uh, she went out. She went out with her husband. But she'll be back very soon. Yeah. Here she is. Ah, Mika! <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. You look good. Thank you. And you too, you look good. <laughs> So, Mama, how are you? I'm alright. Yeah. Are you? Mama, I'm okay. I'm fine. <laughs> did you enjoy yourself? Mama, I did. <laughs> so, baby girl, what's up with you? I missed you so much. I missed you too. <laughs> Don't let me disturb you, girl, so, eh? Excuse me. Oh, right. But tell you, she, make sure she's comfortable. <laughs> Entertain her very well. Mama, I will. <laughs> now, what for you? Eh? You don't even come here to, to check on me once in a while. Why? Sister, don't be angry. I've been so busy lately. Work, church. I hardly have time for myself these days. So tell me, baby girl. How, um, how is your fiancé? He's fine. You know what? He's taking me to see his parents tomorrow. And then get married. <laughs> Are you serious? God, I'm so happy for I'm you. I'm so happy too. <laughs> so, um, how is mama? That woman wants to kill me. She just wants to frustrate and make me useless. I don't even understand. Is it only you? I don't know what is wrong with that woman at all. I don't know. Okay, for instance, look at my mother. She is the one that is supposed to be giving me heat in this house because I have yet to be, give her her son a child. But she is not. It is now my own mother that is giving me problems. Why? Sometimes I I think that woman has some sort of spirit. Something, I think, something is disturbing her. Something is troubling her. Then that spirit should leave her. Before. It should leave her. Because I am not going to take that rubbish from her. I am not. Why would she be behaving like that? I just... That she makes me sick. Ah, Mama. <laughs> Mama. Children. Ah. Don't talk like this about your mother. Look. No matter what she might have done to any of you, She's still your mother. All you need to do is to pray. Pray for her. Mama, thank you very much. Do you know, I was even thinking, I think I need to take her to see a pastor. Pa! Pa what? Neka. You want to contradict the matter? Don't take her to any pastor. All you need to do is to pray for her. And I believe you. She, believe me, she will change. She will change. I just hope so, Mama. I hope so. She is my friend. I will talk to her. You do the pray. Pray, pray, pray. Pray hard. She will change. Okay? Okay, Mama. Good. And then, ah, uh, ah. Uh, look at your face. Smile. When you smile, you're always beautiful. Okay? And then, how is your fiance? He's fine. And then, his parents. Oh, they are fine. <laughs> He's even taking me to see his parents in preparation for our wedding tomorrow. <laughs> yes. You are lucky. <laughs> ah, no drinks, no food. Hey, Mama, I'll still give her that. <laughs> Pray for her. She's such a nice friend.
when they see a boy from a well to do background. I really appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Um, please, um, you use this for your transport. Don't do this, sir. Don't do this. I can't collect this. Uh, I can't take it. And I wouldn't want you to feel at the back of your mind that my coming here to give you this useful information is because I'm hungry. Of course not, sir. I'm not hungry, sir. It's because of my conscience. I wouldn't be at peace if I allow your family to get in trap. So, sir, I beg of you just for one thing. Make sure you investigate this matter properly. It's okay. Thank you very much for the information. Thank you, madam. Vicky, did you just hear what he said? There's more to this. There's more to this than meets the eyes. I don't trust this boy. What nonsense are you talking about? Vicky, God has just used somebody 
to open up our eyes about the realities of life and you're here talking rubbish. Eh? Are you telling me you believe a total stranger? That what's here to just say what he doesn't know? I mean... I don't blame you. Your own in this house is all about sitting down here, starting left, starting right. That is all yours. My son, you are welcome. Yes, sir. How are you? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. 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 This is the lady I told you about that I want to get married to. This is nice. You know what? It's a perfect match. Thank you. Uh, good. Uh, that's good, that's good. Uh, but, young lady, where are you from? Um, I'm from Obako, Nenego State, sir. Obako. Oh, 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 that's a... Uh, Chief Cosmos. Yes, yes. yes. So, uh, what of your parents? Are they in Lagos? Uh, yes, um, my mother stays here in Lagos. And your father? He's late. Sorry about that. Chinedi told me you live with your mother. Is it true? Yes, ma'am. You're welcome. Um, <coughs> Chinedi, yeah. now that uh, both of you are planning to get married, I hope you do stay together, do things together. Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, which means you, you have known her. And if you have known her, I hope she is pregnant now. Uh, are you pregnant? No, sir. Besides, we are Christians and we don't indulge in all that. Uh, my principle is that whoever my son will get married to must be pregnant for the marriage. Because I don't want to stand the risk of what you young girls do outside. I don't trust you people. You people are prostitutes. You roam about the street trying to destroy homes. You all are gold diggers. Embarrassing me, Hey, hey, you need to stop that. Listen. You have to be sure that the lady you want to marry can be able to bear children for you. Yes, and that will guarantee that she is fruitful. And that will guarantee to me that she is a fruitful woman too. I cannot bear the risk. I cannot stand it anymore. The all of them are prostitutes. They are prostitutes. Yes. Look at them. Going about trying to, trying to see the home they will, they, they, they will destroy. Let her go. Yes. If she's pregnant, you marry her. If she's not, no marriage. Ah. Can you imagine all the prostitutes holding around the state? All of all, everywhere in the street. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please wait. Let's talk, let's talk. Oh, Chinedu, there's nothing to talk about. Listen. Your dad has been this No, this is so clear about it. Why don't you just leave me alone? Nikki, this is just my dad. This is not me. Come on, why don't you just listen to me, Nikki? Chinedu, leave me alone for Christ's sake. Just leave me alone. How can you say that in the presence of that girl? You just embarrass her son. It is the same thing. The fact is that I have told her the truth and the choice is hers. If she has not killed all the children in her womb, what stops her from being pregnant for him? What? I understand what you're saying. I understand. All the same, she's not accepting her presence. Dad, what is the meaning of all this rubbish? I mean, what is the meaning of all this rubbish? I brought my fiancé to introduce to both of you. You embarrassed and humiliated me. What, what is all this? Hey, Dad. There's Chile. Chile, do. Make use of your senses. Things are changing these days. The only way you can run away from embarrassment of childlessness is to be sure that your wife is pregnant before you get married to her. That's all. That is barbaric. 
it is ungodly and it's nonsense. You know, I will never be part of it. Then you are not ready to marry that girl. Let me ask you one question. How do you know a woman that is fruitful? Letting her be pregnant two, three months into pregnancy, you go ahead with the marriage. That is nonsense. And I will never be part of it. You know it. I love Nikki so much. I love her and you know I will never do such a thing with her. I believe with God when we get married, she will bear me children. You don't just believe it. But you know it. I can't. You can't. Then be ready for battle with me. I don't understand you. I don't understand the dimension you're taking this whole thing. You're taking it too far. Hmm? Were you not here when the other man came to put up with this guy? How can you believe in him? How can you be acting on what they say? Do you know that man? How can you trust him? He might just be on a revenge mission you don't know. This kills me. support you to be married for any man. Not when I'm alive. Don't worry. Oh? I'm going to get you a man that will be ready to marry you immediately. <laughs> There's this man that has always had an had a man. You know? <laughs> he won't even ask for my pregnancy. He'll just marry you immediately. I mean, I've been to your house and no one, no one there to answer me. I called you, been avoiding my calls and all that. What is happening? Why are you acting this way? How am I acting, Trinidad? Tell me, how am I acting? Look, you should have told me what your parents decided instead of allowing me go there to face such humiliations and embarrassment. Come on, don't talk like this. Don't talk like this. Do you know I, I was embarrassed and humiliated by my father too? I was equally angry with him. For God's sake, I, I told them that I would never be part of it. But my father threatened to disown me if I went ahead to marry you when I get him pregnant. I, I, I don't know who is feeding him. I don't know, they are giving him some wrong information about you. Why are we still talking about it? Isn't it obvious that they don't want me? They haven't said so. Come to think of it, Nekki, why didn't you, I mean, why didn't you just get pregnant? I mean, for our sake. Get pregnant. Chinedu, where is your Christian feet? So just the mere trust by your father you suddenly give up your Christian faith, just like that. I'm disappointed. It's not like that, Nick. I'm disappointed. Come on, I, I, I want you to just do this for our sake, so that we can move on with our lives. We both know that I love you so much. 
but for me to give up my Christian faith and get pregnant out of wedlock, no, I won't. And if you truly say you love me, then this should not bring a problem between us. That uh, both of you are planning to get married. I hope you do stay together, do things together. Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, which means you, you have known her. And if you have known her, I hope she is pregnant now. Uh, are you pregnant? <laughs> Christians, and we don't indulge in all that. Uh, my principle is that whoever my son will get married to, must be pregnant. Because I don't want to stand the risk of what you young girls do outside. I don't trust you people. You people are put to chaos. You roam about the street trying to destroy homes. You all are gold diggers. You're embarrassing me, child. Embarrassing? Hey, hey. She doesn't do stop that. Mm. Listen. You have to be sure that the lady you want to marry can be able to bear children for you. Yes. And that will guarantee that she is fruitful. And that will guarantee to me that she is a fruitful woman, too. I cannot bear the risk. I cannot stand it anymore. They, all of them are prostitutes. They are prostitutes. Yes. Look at them. Going about trying to try to see the home they will they, they, they will destroy.
Ah, welcome to my house. Ah, my mother has friend. Thank God, my dear. Thank God, you are at home. Hey, no. just wipe your tears. God has answered your prayers. God has given you a real man to marry you. Mr. Godi, Omenazo. <laughs> ma, 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 ma. Godi, this is my daughter, Neg, the one I've been telling you about. I can see. Is she not a fine girl? <laughs> Mama! Mama, short, stand up. Stand up! I'll go with you. Mama! I'll go. Take her. Ah, America! America! Mama! Mama! You shot the mama? My in-law! I'll go with you. I was prettier than her when I was younger. Well, I can see. Of course, she's very, very, very fine. Very, very, very fine. Excuse me. Ah. Okay, hug me. Kiss me. Don't you dare come close to me. Are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? Ah, ah. Mama, huh? didn't you tell her about me? Ah. Is it because the word was? Ah. I have this wrong with you. Are you mad? Mama, it is you I should be asking what the problem is here. Did I tell you I was so desperate for a man that you brought me this local push thing? Eh? Shut up! Local game. You don't need to tell me. I know what you need. You need a man to marry you. And God is the real man. Why can't you respect and greet him? Like a well-trained girl. Then show the one that I trained you well. Let me see you are doing here. I wonder. Mama. <laughs> no matter. Okay. 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 Money talks. <laughs> okay. You see. I love you. I love you. Look, enough of all that rubbish. Look, get out of my house now before I do something to you. I am warning you. I get you. out of my house before I do something to you. Okay. 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 It is not a matter of fight. But I think we can rub. Rub. That's a rub my mind together. Who is who is rubbing my feet together? Get out of this place now. What is all this no, no, nonsense? Please, what is all this? Please don't be angry. I'm waiting. Just Mama, no, because of you. Please, ah. please, just give me a little more time. Just a little more time. She's my daughter. My last daughter for that matter. She has no choice. Yeah? Just be praying on your own side. Everything will be alright. Madam, mm -hmm. I, I, honestly, I now understand. This is, this is, I, I, listen, I don't like it, receiving insults. Insults from small, small girls. Don't bless us. Don't imagine small, small girl cutting me. For what? Instead of her to be grateful to God that she, she, she sees a man that wants to marry her. Oh. She did her for what? Ah! Mama, now because now you. Hey. Ah. Just do it because of me, oh no. Please. I'm begging you. She's behaving like that because I parted with her this morning before I left house. Eh? Go. Go down. Oh? Mama, one I'm on. I, I, I ask more. No be, no be the way to, to talk to strangers. Strangers, strangers, uh, if you be angels. Huh? No, you know the same uh, uh, spare parcel. I have my money, my money. <laughs> ah, it's not, what it's not even because of the money. But that you have accepted to come and marry her gives me joy. Oh, Diko, cool down. It's my enemies, oh. They are at work again. That is how they've been behaving to me. That <laughs> girl, if you know how many men have come to marry her, she has refused. And now you have come again. It will work. Oh, just <laughs> cool down for me. <laughs> Mama, okay. Cool down, eh? Cool down. Mama, let it be. Uh -huh. be Thank good. you. Okay. Mama. Strangers can be angels as you talk. <laughs> Maybe you are the angel. Mama, no problem. <laughs> okay. Mama, I will see you. Thank you very much. Okay, Mama. I'll come and see you in your shop. Okay, Mama. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. This is not right. Why would Mama bring in a man that you should marry him? Why? Honestly, sister. 
I was surprised and disappointed. I think there is more to this than meets the eyes. Mama's trouble is just becoming so unbearable. Listen, I think there is something wrong with Mama. There is something wrong with her. Look, have you told Brother Ike? No, I haven't. Look at I suggest we meet with Brother Ike so that we'll discuss about uh, this Mama's issue. Because it's really getting out of hand. Why would Mama be giving people problems everywhere? Why? I wonder. Every minute of the day is always Mama, Mama, Mama. Why? What is wrong with her? What is wrong with her? But I don't know. That's a very good idea. I think we should see what I like. This is what we will do. Stressing and stressing and stressing. Nega oh. means a lot to me. And I cannot afford to lose her just because of your selfish demand for pregnancy. Did I hear you say selfish? I am not being selfish, my, my son. It's for your own good and for the future of this family. You have to be sure that she can be able to give you a child before you marry her. And that will save you your name and the future of this family to continue from generation to generation. God determines the future of every generation. Our destiny is in his hands. Yes! But he has given you the opportunity to plan and decide how you live your life yourself. And I have planned to live with the naked for the rest of my life. I forbid why are you. Why are you spoiling it? Well, I forbid you to marry her, except she is pregnant for you. Mom, say something. Say something, Mom. Just, you know, you're keeping quiet as if both of you plan this whole thing together. She did too. What do you want me to say? What haven't I said to your father? He will not listen to me. He's adamant. What do you want me to do? Well, come to think of it. How did he meet her again? She's my church member. Are you very sure? Yes, a true member. Do you know if she's having any quarrel with anybody? I mean, so much so that the person wants to truncate her future. No, not that I know of. Well, Chinedu, you're my son. I don't have anything against that girl, personally. But please, for the sake of peace and the continuous beauty of this family, Chinedu, look for another woman. No! No, Mama! Do you know what it means to love? Do you? I will marry in Nega, whether pregnant or not. Now, listen. Listen, Chinedu. Don't be a fool. I have a love fact about that girl. If you make mistake of your life and marry her, then count yourself out. That's okay, my baby. Nedu, hey, Nedu, leave him, let him go. He has no choice. But tell you, why, 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 why are you behaving like this? Why are you being a demand for this issue? Woman, I have taken my decision on this matter, and that's fine. You are pushing that boy. And he might just do something rash. And I won't like it. What kind of world have I come into, Biko? Ikechuku has been married for the past four years now. And his wife has not been able to give him a child. Shimo. God. What kind of children do I have, Biko? What kind of children do I have? Oh. Is there nobody in this house? God. Who is that coming? Ah, Tamaluji, it's me, oh. Good afternoon. What are you doing in my house? Ah. What have you come to do? Go away. Go away! Mama Luji, are we no more in laws? <laughs> ah. God. Mama Luji, why do you find it so difficult to let go? You see, all things have passed away. All things have become new now. Nothing can ever be new with you. So leave my house! Go away. With you, all things will never pass away. I know you. 
Well, I overheard you talking to yourself. <laughs> I hope everything is well with you. It is you that is talking to yourself. All can never be well with somebody like you. So go away. Leave me alone. The dance of the spirit is known to the spirit. <laughs> you know the tune you are dancing to. I don't know. Leave my house. We can never be friends. Forget the fact that my daughter went ahead and married, married your son. We can never, never be friends, so. And you know it. She was only stupid. She refused to listen to me. Nothing would have brought two of us together, nothing. So leave my house. Leave. Well, Mama Ruchi, I've only come to advise you. Hmm. Yes. I want you to please take it easy on your children. It is only God Almighty that gives children. And he gives at his own time. Your daughter Aneka, God will give her her own husband. Go away! Nothing can ever be done with you! Nothing can ever! Go away and leave me alone! Do what do I want this? This is you. Eh? How did she find herself into this house again? Oh God. My enemy is so... She has only come to laugh at me. My children will never listen to me. Oh God. No. I said no. No pregnancy, no marriage. Dad! You encouraging me to, to, to commit fornication? A Christian? A knight? God! The other time I brought in a girl here, you said no because she's not an evil girl. I drove her away. Dad, I drove her away. Right now I brought in an evil girl. And you're saying no just because she's not pregnant. That must I kill myself just to please you. Relax, my son, relax. There's no need for you to get worked up. You are still a small child. Eh? But let me tell you, if I decide to act on the information I have about that girl, you will not mention her name in this house. But no, I understand we all have our past. But sometimes, the scars that I want to protect against but let's see if that girl is still capable of giving you children in future. But let her take in first. Period. No, that. No. I am a born again Christian. And my scripture forbids it that I sleep with a woman before marriage. Period.
decided to use the one upstairs. She came and sent me out that she wants to take her bath there. What kind of what kind of a thing is this? What happened to the bathroom in her bedroom? Huh? What sort of what sort of trouble is this? Uh, no, you're back. Mama, why didn't you use the bathroom in your room? Instead of going upstairs to inconvenience my wife? Oh I don't like all this trouble. What don't you like? My dear sisters, Mama's recent embarrassing attitude is beginning to give me cause for concern. She's getting worse every day. I think the issue of your wife not being able to have a child yet and also Sister Richie is probably what is making her go insane and act the way she's doing now. <laughs> she is not insane. She is just a witch. She is a witch. Look at it. The place I went to seek for help the other day, they told me that Mama was the cause of all our troubles and misfortunes. Which? Hey, Mama, please tell us now. Confirm it. Are you not a witch? Eh? Are you not the person that is the cause of all our troubles? Is it not you? Hey. Tell us! So, I am now the witch that is causing me trouble. <laughs> more, more the but let me tell you, Mama, you will not succeed. Your plans have failed. Ah, so, Luchi, why are you talking to Mama like that? Why are you talking to her like that? Why would I talk to her like that? Eh? This is the height of it. I am going to leave Lagos for the people. Now, I will pack my things from here. I will also go to the house of the from here and I will pack my things. Leave Lagos for you people. Go back to the village and practice my witchcraft well, well there. Okay. Leave you here in peace. Oluchi, what is the matter with you? Why do you have to talk to my mom like that? Even if you know that she... she, she look, I'm disappointed at you. Go! Go! Leave us alone! Go! Go! Mama, please now. Mama, please. Leave me alone. Leave me now. Hey, Mama. Both of you are here. She's calling me a witch. Mama, take it easy. I am going back to the village. But let me warn you. None of you should dare come to me. Let me go back to the village and practice my witchcraft. Go! Leave us alone! Go! I will leave you! Keep quiet there! Eh? What is the matter with you? Brother, let me tell you. Let's leave Mama to go back to the village. Let her leave us alone! If anybody wants to see her, the person should go to the village and see her! Huh? Oh, 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 she, she, she just said, giving us heat! Okay, look at my mother-in-law. Look at how she's just pampering me here and there. Mama is here, giving us heat. She should go to the village! Will you shut up this minute? Are you satisfied now? Are you happy now? Are you satisfied now? Yes, yes, yes. Come on, we have the costume. 
stealing child. Start by stealing a coat. I have tried. There are women who do not have children. Yet they are alive, but they are even well. What is the use in having so many children? Who do not care about your welfare? Eh? God knows I have tried. What have I done? Eh? I have children. It shows that they are all useless and irresponsible. They don't care about, about a mother who means well to them. Oh God, I have tried. You are my witness. I married a husband for my daughter, Nega. She nearly broke my head for it. Eh? I told the to go to marry another wife. He asked me what is wrong with the man he is married and calling his wife. I told Aluchi to go and check herself up and know what is find out what is wrong with her. <laughs> she calls me a witch. God in heaven! I have tried! You are my witness. My dear sisters. Mama's recent embarrassing attitude is beginning to give me cause for concern. She's getting worse every day. I think the issue of your wife not being able to have a child yet and also sister Oluchi is probably what is making her go insane and act the way she's doing now. <laughs> she is not insane. She is just a witch. She is a witch! Look at it. The place I went to seek for help the other day, they told me that Mama was the cause of all our troubles and misfortunes. Which? Hmm? You call me a witch? Yes. Which? Hey, Mama, please tell us now. Confirm it. Are you not a witch? Eh? Are you not the person that is the cause of all our troubles? Is it not you? Tell us! So, I am now the witch that is causing me trouble. <laughs> More But let me tell you, Mama, you will not succeed. Your plans have failed. Ah, Sonichi, why are you talking to Mama like that? Why are you talking to her like that? Why would I talk to her like that? Eh? <laughs> this is the height of it. I am going to leave Lagos for the people. Now, I will pack my things from here. I will also go to the house of the from here. I will pack my things, leave Lagos for you people, go back to the village and practice my witchcraft well, well there. Okay. Leave you here in peace. Oluchi, what is the matter with you? Why do you have to talk to my mom like that? Even if you know that she... she, she look, I'm disappointed at you. Go! Go! Leave us alone! Go! Go! Mama, please. Mama, please. Leave me alone. Leave me now. Hey, Mama. Both of you are here. She's calling me a witch. Mama, take it easy. I am going back to the village. But let me warn you. None of you should dare come to me. Let me go back to the village and practice my witchcraft. Go! Leave us alone! Go! I'm leaving you. You keep quiet, eh? What is the matter with you? Brother, let me tell you. Let's leave Mama to go back to the village. Let her leave us alone. If anybody wants to see her, the person should go to the village and see her. Ah? Uh -huh. Oh, she, she, she just said, giving us heat. Okay, look at my mother-in-law. Look at how she's just tampering me here and there. Mama is here, giving us heat. She should go to the village. Will you shut up this minute? Are you satisfied? Are you happy? Are you satisfied? Are you satisfied? Are you satisfied? Are you satisfied? Start by stealing a coat. I have tried. There are women who do not have children. Yet they are alive, but they are even well. What is the use in having so many children who do not care about your welfare? Eh? God knows I have tried. What have I done? Eh? I have children. It shows that they are all useless and irresponsible. They don't care about, about a mother who means well to them. Oh God. I have tried. You are my witness. 
I married a husband for my daughter, Nega. She nearly broke my head for it. I told the kid to marry another wife. He asked me what is wrong with the man he is married and calling his wife. I told Aluchi to go and check herself up and know what is, find out what is wrong with her. <laughs> she calls me a witch. God in heaven, I have tried. You are my witness. I will not kill myself for my children. Don't allow your parents to ruin your life and your future. If you truly love this girl, then go ahead and marry her. Except you are not very sure of yourself. I mean, why, why are you talking like this? I mean, you know how much I love Nikki. Hey? Nikki means the world to me. Uh, it's just that I, I don't understand the reason why my father is trying to frustrate then me. Then go ahead and marry her. Forget about this church wedding stuff. You can go to the court. Just arrange for a man and a woman and call them your parents. It's only when you begin to go for all this church wedding and that they demand for, I mean, when you begin to go for all this church wedding that they demand for traditional rights. Listen, I have seen a lot of guys whose parents have ruined their life because of this marriage stuff. Don't marry Edo, don't marry Ibu, marry Aosa, marry Yoruba. Man, forget it. Forget it. Son, you cannot treat it like an outcast. It's not right. It's not 
out. Well, that is what he has chosen from the moment he wedded that girl. Well, this has come beyond my imagination. I want to you treat your son as if he's your worst enemy. I want my son back. Shut up! Enough, woman! Your son has no respect for me and he disregarded me. And I beg to rest this case. And if you discuss it again, I will not hesitate to treat you in like manner. I don't care! I don't care why my son back! I want him back! I want my son back for my sake! I can see it's written all over you. Hey, hey my dear, um, how is your husband? Have you people gotten a place? Um? Star, thank God. Um. Hey. We finally got a place, um, a two bedroom flat. Hey. Yeah, thank God, thank God. At least the poor man will rest now. Hey. So, how is your husband now? What did he do is fine. He's not doing badly at all. Mm. You know, he just got a new job and the pay is not bad at all. Hey. And you know, I'm still working with my old place of work. Mm. And you know, ever since his father refused him from working with him, he had to look for another job, another means of survival. Hey, God, can you imagine? Eh? So fathers can be very terrible. I couldn't believe a man like that would treat his son like that. For what? Sister, now so we see him. Hey. And the scary thing now is, Chinidu does not even want to see his father. Mm -hmm. Or even hear anything from him. No, 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 no. That one is very bad, okay? And you have to try everything possible to condone him to see his father. Stop so trying. Try and encourage try. him. Try more. I'm trying. Mm. So, how is Mama? I've not had time to see her. When did you see her last? Well, I don't know. Mama is still there in the village with her troubles and her palaver and everything. The last time, brother, I went there to see her. She refused to see him unless I come there to. Uh, apologize to her, and you know that I will not do it. No, no, sister. Sister, why don't you go and see Mama now? Why don't you just go and at least talk to her, settle with her? After she's seen her mother. For what? Sister, uh, eh? Sister, go and see. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, Neka, you started again, Biko. You started. How, why, for what? Will I, why will I go there to apologize to her? For what? Eh? Leave her to stay there with her troubles and her palaver. After all, things are changing now. Is it not after she left that your husband now decided to get married to you? No, tell me now. Is it not? Please just leave Mama to stay there with her trouble. I don't want her to come here and put more fire into into my house. I beg, be go. Can you imagine that Mama did not even attend my wedding? Made the baby of the house. Oh! And you're here siding Mama. What will I do? Eh? What will I do? Okay now. Go and sit down. Go and sit down. I don't want to distract you. You don't want to help me. Help what? Eh? You don't know who is who. I want you to know that I am worried about you. I've spoken to your father. He's still very adamant. Mom, you don't need to be worried about me. As you can see, me and my wife, we are just fine. We're just fine. I've learned the lessons of my life. I have come to realize that it is wrong for a man to be completely dependent on his father's world. It deprives you of your struggle and responsibility as an individual. Even your freedom is jeopardized. As you can see right now, I am okay I'm on my own. I don't like it that way. Well, my son. I want you to know that if you need anything, I'll be there for you. Just call on me. I truly want to be independent, Mom. Chine, why are you talking like this? Does it mean that I cannot help when it's necessary? Or come to see you when I want to see you? Of course not. But just now, I, I want to be left alone. Okay. Well, just know that I'm there for you anytime. There is 
nothing difficult about it, honey. I have told you so many times. Oluchi is fruitless. She cannot bear you a child. Yes. Do you know why they sent their mother back to the village? She bewitched them all. Even her brother's wife. She has destroyed their wombs in the dark world. I know what I'm talking about. And I know where I've been to, to discover this truth. Mama, I'm confused. Why are you confused? Five years of marriage and nothing to show for it. Look, marry another woman. Marry another girl if you are afraid to be that in this house. Hide her somewhere. Yes! Don't look at me like that. Hide her. You are very, very fatal. It is your wife that is fruitless. I love all of you. What was everywhere certified us okay? Oh. Honey, doctors can only see what is physical. They cannot see the spiritual aspect of it and they cannot fight it. God will fight for us. I believe in God. How you grow up? You are not a baby. Open your eyes. Everyone believes in God. Even the devil believes in God. But I must confess, I am tired. I am tired of pretense. I need to see my own grandchild. I want to carry my grandchild on my back before I die. So please, do something. Stop waiting in the require a little more patience. With time you are going to have children. Hmm? Doctor, it's been over. Alright, I understand. No problem. And you, make sure you keep up with our medical checkups, okay? Both of you. Thank you. It's going to be alright. Hmm? I can assure you that. God bless you. Bye bye. Whoever my son will get married to must be pregnant for the marriage. Because I don't want to stand the risk of what you young girls do outside. I don't trust you people. You people are prostitutes. Get out! 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 Get
Yoruba Bank. Yoruba Bank is trying to destroy homes. You all are gold niggas. Embarrassing me, Hey, hey, you stop that. Listen, you have to be sure that the lady you want to marry can be able to bear children for you. Yes, and that will guarantee that she is fruitful. And that will guarantee to me that she is a fruitful woman too. I said no. No pregnancy, no marriage. Dad, you encouraging me to, to, to commit fornication? A Christian? A knight? God, the other time I brought in a girl here, you said no because she's not an evil girl. I drove her away. Dad, I drove her away. Right now I brought in an evil girl. And you're saying no just because she's not pregnant. That must I kill myself just to please you. Ever since we came back from the hospital some days back, your attitude towards me has changed. I still don't understand. Okay, um, probably it's because I've not been able to get pregnant. That's why you're so troubled. Then get pregnant so that I'll be fine. Honey, why are you talking like this? Don't you care about how I feel too? No. Oh, maybe we feel the same. Maybe we feel the same or I feel worse. We've been together for two good years. The doctor said there is nothing wrong with both of us. So what is wrong? What is wrong? Maybe you should ask God that question. No, I'm asking you. What is wrong? What is wrong with you? Huh? Have you been an abortionist? Yes, my father said so. That is why he refused me to marry you. Is there a ghost in your family? I want to know. Or well, why is it that your sister has not been able to give birth to a child after five years of marriage? Even your brother and his wife. What is wrong, I repeat? What is wrong with your family? Not you, Jesus. I mean, what's 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 the problem? Jesus Christ. What is wrong? And something is wrong with the family. Something is wrong with the family. Listen, there is nothing wrong with my family. Maybe it's your own family. I'll tell you. I should have listened to my father. I should have listened to my father, my mom. Now look at me. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Follow me. I want to take you to a place where they will open your home so that you start having children. You will become happy. Come on, come, follow me. Follow me. You open your mouth to call me a witch. Temptations. You fell. You've been going here and there to the extent that you knelt down before a fetish priest. <laughs> yes, Master. I'll read the of the Bible to you.
Isaiah, Isaiah 49. Take it off from 24. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty, or the lawful captive delivered? But thus said the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contended with you, and I will save thy children. Hallelujah. Amen. That's the word of God. My God is saying that he will contend with those that are contending with you. Amen. God says he's going to pick you up again from your captive point and take you up again. Amen. You are going to pray. The Spirit of God says we are going to go on three weeks dry fasting. And throughout this, nobody must know. Not even your husband. Do it between you and God alone. Speak to him. Pour out your heart to the Lord. Beg for forgiveness. And let God take over your battle. Because the Bible says the earth is the Lord and the fullness therein. There are some passages here. While you pray, you read. You read, you pray. And God will deliver you. Let us pray. Mighty warrior, great in battle, My Lord and my God, you are the mighty, terrible one. God, like the wall surround Jerusalem, you will surround your daughter. God, you will stretch your mighty hand over her and take her out of the pit. Every darkness that surrounds this one over her, I release your light upon her from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. In her dwelling, let there be light. Why should you walk on the road of God? Let your eyes shine mightily. In Jesus' mighty name. And above all, O God, grant her the spirit of the Son. Open her eyes to see. To see. And to see. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Sorry, get up, get up. I said, let me. Thank God. Let me. Let me. That's what you people want. That's why my children sent me to the village to come here and die. Let me, let me die here. Mama, you're not going to die. Please get up. Let me. She's, she's in trouble. Look, honey, I don't want you to be bothered about my mother. She's fine. She's okay. Honey, why don't you bring her back from the village? She's been there for a year now. Look, Mama is fine and well taken care of. But she chose to remain in the village. And so let her be there. I don't want any troubles from her. Please. Better out together. Here. We need our peace. Hello, hello. Hello, baby. Ah! Jesus. 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 Lord of Jesus. Lord of Jesus. Please. 
shut up! Why are you kicking out of Jesus Christ? Why are you shut up? What is the meaning of this madness? Honey, honey, she's a witch. What? Honey, she is a witch. Honey, she's a witch. She's a witch. Shut up! It's your mother that is a witch. Are you mad? Honey, please listen to me. Don't listen to her. She's a witch. Shut up! Listen to her! Why don't you... You called me a witch. you called me a witch. Do you see what I've been telling you about this ungrateful girl? You could look straight in my eyes and call me a witch, Aruchi. Aruchi. Ah! Don't call me. I said don't call me. I said don't call me. Shut your mouth. This is where the bridge breaks between you and I. Now get out. Please, please, I mean it. She's a witch. She's a witch. Get out of my house. Get out! Get out before I lose my temper! Go back to that church and stay there! Lord of It's all right, Olive. It's okay, Olive. Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Stop crying. You can stay with us here for the meantime, okay? Sweetheart, please arrange the guest room for her. And take all these things in. The world we're living in Strange things are happening You don't know who is who The one you call your own Will end up to be Your enemy we are constantly surrounded by all kinds of people who pretend to love us. If the reason you came here is to compel me to marry that girl you introduced me to, forget it. I am not ready for that. Harry, when are you going to be ready? You keep giving me the same answer that you are not ready, you are not ready. When are you going to be ready? Look, it's over two months you send that on grateful girl packing out of this house. So when are you going to settle no, that? No, I did not send Oluchi away simply because I want to bring in another woman. So what do you want to do? I sent her away because she became something else after she started that church. And because she insulted me in my presence. Thank you. Oluchi is still my wife. And I could bring her in anytime I want to. Impossible. It's a lie. It can never happen. Result of the test, mm. you're six weeks pregnant. Eh? That's it. Doctor, are you serious? No, that's it. You're six weeks pregnant. Doctor, me! <laughs> now I'm six weeks pregnant, that's me! That's it. Hey, 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 God! Hey, Doctor! Hey, thank you, Jesus! But, thank you, but Jesus! You have to take it easy. Hey. Don't stress up yourself. Just take it easy, okay? Okay, okay. Right. Thank you, it's thank you. Right. 
I have told you, and that is final. Please, brother, let me tell him. No, 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 you're not going to tell him anything because he does not care about you. He sent you packing two months ago, and up till now, he does not bother to know whether you are alive or you are dead. So forget him. But, brother, you know. No, no, no buts here. As far as I'm concerned, Harry is a heartless brute. And when the time comes, I will give him a piece of my mind. But Oluchi, if you ask me, I think what Ike just said is very correct. But Oluchi, mm -hmm. how did you do it? How did you manage? What is the secret? What secret? The secret of your pregnancy now. Use this. My dear, it's the hand of God. And he can even do it if not believe him. Believe in what? How do you mean? Listen. There's a pastor, my friend, a friend of mine too. You know my, my friend Jane? She took me to a pastor, and the pastor prayed. This is the result. But there are too many men of God, pastors here, they are even spiritualists. Which one do I believe? Listen, they are still men of God, and real men of God. The only thing here is for you to believe in God, and don't even have a doubt at all. Jesus it's just simple when you get to the Even my friend, and my sister, and my sister, and my sister, and my sister, and I believe right now. Hey! I can't wait. No more. I just can't imagine an end to this childlessness. You mean that me, Doris, will one day be pregnant? Because hey! It's first thing tomorrow morning. I'm headed to that direction. Don't worry. I'll take you home. I am not making anything hard, Mr. Hart. It's crystal clear that you are heartless. No. You sent my sister packing for the past four months and you never cared to know whether she's still alive or dead. And you think you can just walk in here and pick her up because you feel like? No way. Look, Orochi is not a commodity. She's a human being with feelings and she has people like me. Sorry. It's just that I I realize my mistakes. Please, I want her back. Please. Because I'm begging you. So you suddenly want her back. Because she's pregnant? You cheat pregnant? Oh come on, don't give me that pretentious job. Hi. Alicia, will you go back to your room? I said go back to your room. Would you go back to your room now? Move it! Look, Mr. Harry, I think it's time to go. This is the way out. Away to. You want to drive me away from this place too? Mama, why are you talking like this now? Mama, please. please, I've come to ask for your forgiveness from everything I've done to you or said to you. Please, Mama, I'm sorry. Please, I'm sorry. <laughs> you want me to forgive you? Yeah, Luchi. <laughs> 
sorry to go. Where will I start to forgive you? You open your mouth to call me your mother a witch. And you want me to forgive you? Just tell me where to start. Please, go back to Lagos and leave me alone. Go back. Diko, go. I am a witch. Forgive me. Mama, okay, look at me now. I'm pregnant. And so is Brother Ike's wife. And the neck are here. Please forgive me. Mama, you know you've always wanted a grandchild. Tell me. Please. I don't want again. I don't want any more. Even if you have one million children now, they are all for you. I don't want. Leave me alone. Go. Go and leave me. I am at peace here. Don't make it hard. Please, Mama. You know, we never supported Oluji for what she did. You didn't support her? What did you do when she called me a witch? Since you didn't support her. Mama, I scolded her right in your presence. You scolded her? Yes. And it just ended like that. You scolded her. Nothing more. And you had to send me to the village. Mama. I don't want it. Go. You know, I never wanted you to come back to the village. Eh? Please, Mama. You were the one who insisted. Eh, I still insist. I want to stay here. Mama, please forgive us all and come back to Lagos. Me, come back to Lagos. <laughs> come back to Lagos. I don't want to come back to Lagos. Oh, you get to I don't want to come back. To Lagos. I am comfortable here. This is where all the witches in this country have their meeting, huh? and we have our peace here. So leave us and go. Mama, go. Please, please, Mama. Okay. If you people won't leave, I will leave this place for you. Mama. Huh? Mama. Mama, please, Mama, please now. Now. You can hold me and hold this place. Forgive us. I will leave everything for you. I am a witch. Uh -huh. You open your mouth only to go and me a witch. Thank you very much. I am going to be the witch. Mama. No. Mama, go now, please. Mama. Look, Mama. if you want me to, if you want to leave now, eh, I will go and call all the witches. You will stay with them because this is their house. If you don't know, this is the house of witches. So go back to Lagos and leave me alone. You will go. Take the house. Take village. Leave me. I'm okay. to cook at what age Harry Mama. when are you going to change your mind and marry the girl I introduced to you when Mama, that girl has never crossed my mind the only person I think of is Oluchi who my wife Oluchi she's pregnant who is pregnant? Oluchi. How? When? Ah, it's not true. I saw her yesterday at her brother's place, but they won't let me come close to her. This is not true. It's not possible. Ah, no, she can't be pregnant. And uh, they will not let you talk to her. Mm -hmm. eh, forget her. So sure that pregnancy, you are responsible for it. I beg your pardon, Mama. 
I thought the only reason why you wanted me to marry the other girl is because Oluji couldn't get pregnant. Now she's pregnant and you are saying otherwise. What's your problem, Mama? You want to know my problem? I will tell you my problem. Since that girl opened her big mouth and called me name, since she called me a witch, she will never, never be my daughter anymore. Whatever you think, Mama. Oluji is my wife. And I'm bringing her back into this house. Oh! Nothing anybody can do about it. No, you will not. Of course, I will. Hey! Ah! Don't try me, yo. Hey! Don't try me, yo!
sorry. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ, come on. Anything that is wrong with her. Hey. No, sir. you stay away for the meantime, okay? Okay, sir. And give her another drink immediately. He's on his own. Nothing will happen to your baby. Eh? Just continue to bleed the blood of Jesus. Sorry, man, darling. Oh? All right. Yes, why? Please help me call my sister Mega. Tell her to call my pastor. She has already gone to do that. Eh? The pastor is on his way. Sorry, madam. You'll be alright. Please, sorry. Please help me call my husband. Aiki has called him. He's on his way. Hey, sorry, sorry. sorry. Hey, madam, sorry. You'll be alright. Sorry, Jesus. What is sorry, sorry. Plead the blood of Jesus now. Jesus, sorry. Stop eating it. Eh? Um, I'm afraid not. Honestly, I I really can't figure out exactly what is wrong with her. You see, we've done all the medical tests and we still can't come up with anything, but she's very strong and healthy. No, no, how can you talk like that? You can see she's not. But you see, that is the mystery that I'm dealing with now. I understand she's your sister. Yes, she's my immediate younger sister. What about her husband? Okay, okay. Where is my wife? Look, I ask him, ask him. Doctor, doctor, what is wrong with my wife? I want to see my wife. What is wrong with her? Well, um, we still can't come up with anything yet, but she's hale and hearty, very strong. She can be strong and, and remain there. Good morning, Mama. Doctor, please look at this myself. Oh, the toilet is right over there. Doctor, tell me, what exactly is wrong with my wife? I want to know. Well, you see, the truth is, your wife is under a spiritual attack. Spiritual? Spiritual attack? That's my personal opinion. My wife under spiritual attack? Mama? Mama? I just came back from uh, the village. How can you go visit them? I was so disturbed. I said, let me come and see you. Then I went to the house and your uh, man told me that uh, all the children are very sick and they're going to the Where is she? But, Mama, what's going on? Is this not the woman that went in? You can you didn't tell me your mother was a dream? It's nothing like that. Lose your hold! Lose your hold! In the name of Jesus! Hey! 
Is she not the daughter of uh, Mother Teresa? Yes, she is. Mm -hmm. Harry. Mm -hmm. Forget her. Why? Because I don't see any good quality of a wife in her. Mama, look, Oluchi is the best girl I've ever met. And I want to marry her. Harry, there are so many girls outside. Forget Oluchi and take one of them. Mama, why are you being so difficult? She's the best girl for me. And I thought you and her mother used to attend the same August meeting together and that you were friends. That was then! That was then. That woman has overstepped her bounds. And she has become my rather in the meeting. So anything, anything concerning her, I don't even want her to, to, to go close to her. Forget her daughter. Forget her. Mama, because you are in a enmity with someone doesn't make that person my enemy. I love that girl. You are my mother. And you said you love me. I thought you said you love me. Let me marry the girl I know. If you love me, you will do exactly what I ask you to do. I've made up my mind. Okay. I'm not changing it. Alright. Jesus Christ. Harry. When the dawn of me that will not stop me from marrying you. I decided to make a marriage. Mother, why? Mother, why? Oh, I decided to make all this trouble. Actually, when you now told me that she is pregnant, I decided to carry a mother's face. Hey! I wore a mother's face to destroy her pregnancy. Hey! This is you are you are me? I should have allowed you to come into this house not because of the respect I have for my mom. She made you my son. I am not your son. You rejected me a long time ago, so don't ever call me your son. <clears throat> My son, I know how you feel. Whatever you tell me now, you are right. But I want you to understand one thing. I only play the role of a father. I acted on the information I had concerning your wife. And now, I want you to find a place in your heart to forgive me. Please, my son. You want me to come back home? You want me to come back home because the woman you thought I cannot be pregnant is finally pregnant. That's why you want me back. No. I want you back because I have realized I made a mistake. Please, forgive me. My son, let bygone be bygone. Please. Stay out of this. Stay out of this. Jeanette, what is wrong with you? Your father is begging you. Please. Mommy, why, why are you begging me? I was rejected and humiliated by a man who calls himself my father. The world in the course of struggle, I have learned to be wise. I am independent now and I like it. Things. I don't need both of you to move ahead of my life. So please leave my house. You don't know Jeanette, who Jeanette, is who. Jeanette, the one you Call your own.
could end up to be your enemy. We are constantly surrounded by all kinds of people who pretend to love us, who pretend to care, but their hearts Ooh, is evil. Even the ones we call out. Good afternoon. We've not had a good, but what has given us to a bouncing baby girl? Very much. Mom? Yeah. Huh? What? Honey, what's Where? It? Uh, where? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Honey, what is it? What's the problem? My dad. Mm -hmm. Honey, just take care of the baby, okay? Where are you going to? My dad just called me right now. I've got to see him, okay? Just take care of Investigate. 
before jumping into the conclusion. Do you hear me? Dad, do you need to see my son? It's so sad. 